Well, this is the question, Mr. Kane. I know you're a strong supporter of this legislation. This is a question that often gets asked. What problem are you trying to solve with this bill? Oh, well, there is a real problem, which is laws here in uh, here in Texas and certain cities. I guess San Antonio and uh, um, up the, near Dallas area, the Denton area, that that want to force public accommodations to force uh, private businesses to accommodate. Um, someone deciding to go in the bathroom, it has nothing to do with it. Although this legislation would very specifically not use private, it would not affect private business. That's correct. But the other ones, we're trying to affect them. So ours is just to say, look, we're not going to allow government funds or government buildings to be used for social engineering. Right. Men need to use men's restrooms. And the transgender community saying that this bill is either directly or indirectly discriminatory, uh, you say in response to that what? Um, you at your own risk, but we shouldn't be penalizing people. It wasn't a problem when I was a child. Was it a problem when you were a kid? I don't remember dudes walking around in dresses getting beat up. It just, it wasn't a thing. And now I think we're encouraging it. Mr. Hall